Uh, Lions, Patriots. Next game on our list, the one and three Lions travel to New England to take on the Patriots uh, at also at one and three. Um, this game here, obviously the Patriots are favored. The Lions, though, their offense has been incredible the past few weeks. They are one of the best offenses, the highest scoring offenses, most yards per game offense in the league. Uh, AJ, for the Patriots defense to come into this game, what do you think the key is to slow down this surprisingly high powered Detroit Lions offense? Uh, controlling the line of scrimmage. Uh, that's something that they've been able to do. Uh, you, you, the Lions offensive line has gotten in loads better than they have last year. So it's not going to be an easy task, but it's about winning in the trenches. If they can control the line of scrimmage, if they can get into the backfield, they can apply pressure to Jared Goff, make him make mistakes. It's going to be a little easier for them to slow this offense down. Now, it's amazing how they were able to put up 45 points without their two top guys. But if you're going into this game with the same formula, with the 15, 12, 12, 12, 13 targets to TJ Hawkinson and hoping that comes out on top for close to 200 yards again, it's going to be a lot more difficult to recreate that type of performance. Uh, he's going to have to spread the ball around more. And we've seen some of these guys in that backfield for in that secondary for the Patriots come up with big plays. Matthew Judon has been wreaking havoc on people with four sacks on the season. So this is one of the defenses that has the capability of slowing down this offense. But this offense yeah. has been a lot of fun to watch. And, uh, you know, I still expect them to put up some yards and put up some points. But the Patriots at this point, besides the top notch, top five defenses, is a team that I think has the capability to slow down this offense a little bit. Yeah, I mean, you look. You, we talk about what happened last week. We, going into the game with Green Bay, they had Brian Hoyer start the game, Bailey Zappi come in, and it was a close game. They took him to overtime. It was 27-24, and we talked about why it was that, because the, you just don't push around the New England Patriots defense. You don't push around Bill Belichick, and this guy just <laughs> crossing his arms like something's wrong here. They, you don't. You don't. It, it, Bill Belichick makes it hard to play against. That's That's the thing. And there's no, there is no denying that. I, I didn't, I didn't, I'm not denying that. And I'm not disagreeing with the statement that the Patriots are a tough out. I'm the one who said it. I get that. But you talk about, you just don't push them around. Actually you do. The Patriots have had one of the worst <laughs> run defenses over the past two seasons. They don't stop the run. Well, it's actually the part of the team that actually you can get a little bit on the Patriots is the physicalness in the trenches and pushing that defensive line back in the run game. I think they're bottom half against the run this season. And you talk about a team with, I'm sorry, even with the injuries, the Detroit Lions have been an elite offensive line this year. They are one of the best running football teams in the NFL. And with, Obviously, DeAndre Swift being out, you're going to have a Jamal Williams who ran for another 100 yards again. They are going to run the football. This is what Ben Johnson does. It's predicated on running the football. It gives Jared Goff play action. And when you have play action and a, an effective running game, it disallows guys like Matthew Judon to get to the quarterback because they have to worry about the running game. The Detroit offense, I don't want to say this sounds so stupid because it's the Detroit offense. I don't know that there's a defense out there that can, quote, stop them. I think there's a deep what a world out there. What a world slow them down. They are one of the more creative offenses in the NFL. You know what's going to slow Detroit down if Amon Ross St. Brown can't play again, if DeAndre Swift is out again, then you start to DJ Shark, you start to lose talent. And when you start to lose talent, it's harder to move the football despite what they were able to do last week against Seattle. We know Seattle's defense is just atrocious uh, at this point. So I, I do think that the Detroit Lions offense is going to have their way with the Patriots defense. It's the one thing you worry about is the Foxborough element, being on the road in New England. Um, could this be a letdown game for that Detroit Lions offense? But I'm sold. The, the Ben Johnson led Detroit Lions offense is one of the best in football. And I always use this line by hook or by crook. They find a way to score points, even if it's late in games and, and they're down by a lot. They find a way to keep applying pressure and put the ball in the end zone. Uh, I don't think this week is any different. The problem is I don't think that they could stop Vinny Milani at quarterback. So it doesn't matter who the Patriots have in their center. They'll probably be able to score this week. And that's where I think you have to start wondering, can the, can the Lions just outscore New England? And that's the question mark. Shout out Ben Johnson. Shout out Ben Johnson. Best offensive coordinator in football right now. Ooh, wow. Okay. All right. All right. It's hard to argue that. It's hard to argue, but you talked about it. The, you said I could win a quote. I could, this, me being quarterback of the New England Patriots, that yeah, Bailey Zappi, 
Yeah, and I'm a turd. But there is a new quarterback in New England, and it is Bailey Zappi. Aaron, what do you expect to see from him? Give us, give the maybe the new viewers. I mean, he goes zap it in there. He's the zapster. Like, <laughs> zap it in there. <laughs> like for 15, now he did fumble the ball, but he 107 pass rating. This is the zapster. He's he's Mac Jones, but with a cooler name. And just he's just better, so they should start him for the rest of the year. This is not a joke. Bailey Zappi, I do believe, actually has potential. Like, I do think he could be a franchise quarterback given the experience. And I don't mean he could go win Super Bowls, but I do think he's a guy that could come in and be one of the 32 best in the NFL. He has zero weapons on that team. Devontae Parker is his best guy. He has a good running game, but I think he has that talent level. His arm talent is really, really good. His thing is he's played at a small school. He's lacked experience. He hasn't played against big opponents. He hasn't seen all these defenses. He is going to struggle at times. But what better game to get right than going to play the Detroit Lions who gave Geno Smith, made him look like the next coming of Joe Montana. So I I think it's a perfect matchup for Bailey Zappi. I think he should have a good day. And I do expect New England to pull this one out because of the Belichick factor. A late stop. Um, but another high scoring game in a, in a Detroit Lions because if you play the Lions, you're scoring at least 27 points. It's just, it's just a fact. Yep. Just a no, fact. yeah. This, this may be, this may be a good matchup for Bailey Zappi to come in and be able just to let it rip. This is a hey, hey, quarterback contract. If people are going to have a quarterback controversy between, oh, Cooper no doubt. Rush and <laughs> no Dak doubt. Prescott, I don't want to hear shit. I want, I want to hear all the same that's energy when you, Bailey you know Zappi that's does what, it. You know that's what's going to come, though. You know that's what's going to happen. We're not going to get a quarterback controversy in New England. We're going to be on this show next week talking about it, how no one is talking about how a quarterback controversy exists uh, because it's Mac Jones and not Dak Prescott. Uh, what was your final score, Aaron? Uh, I will say New England wins this one, 31-28. AJ? I had I'm Detroit, lying. I'm 31-27. Lying. I was going to say 31-27. I, I can't give Detroit four touchdowns. Belichick's red zone defense will stop them from getting all the way in the end zone. So um, I'll say 31-26 just because that means there's, a lot of, there's three three field goals in there. I will say 28-27 Patriots. 28-27 Patriots. 